Okay, now, I've been on stakeout for about an hour for this kookaburra, and <clears throat> here he is. This is the kookaburra. This is what I've been waiting for. My God, there it is. The kookaburra. Oh, and did you hear that? That its head going into the glass. There it is. You stupid bird. And it does this day in, day out, and it's been doing this for weeks. Here it goes. The kookaburra is going to attempt for the probably 50,000th time to get into that, it's determined to get into that townhouse upstairs where the kitchen is, and it's going to smash into the, the glass. You'll hear it. I want to scare it away because this is my, like, fifth attempt to film this kookaburra. And it's the closest I can get. And eventually he'll start sort of sitting there and pecking at the glass. Here he is. He's supposed to be sitting on a... Oh! Oh! That's got to hurt. He's supposed to be sitting on a frigging gum tree. Or whatever tree they sit on. Oh! Oh, not nice. <laughs> See, what happens is he flies towards the the window of the of this townhouse from the, the railing and he basically knocks himself out so he's now stuck on the ground and he can't see how he can't it's quite sad now I'm, I'm starting to get a little tearful but see look he can't he can't get up because he's probably knocked himself a bit stupid I'm still wondering why he does it See, he can't get up. Poor thing now. It's probably going to take him a while. Oh, nasty. It's it's kamikaze kookaburra. And I'm really glad that I've actually... It's taken me weeks to get... Here he is. It's taken me weeks to film this. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh it's a bit too much now, isn't it? Anyway, I better not show you my face. I'm not looking pretty this morning. Have a great day. See ya.